Hey, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. We have a steam locomotive episode for you today. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Welcome back to our longtime viewers, and welcome if you're a new viewer. We hope you stick around. If you like this episode, you can go cruise all of our other episodes. We have hundreds of them, several on steam locomotives, their uses, their designs. One we've not covered is the armored steam locomotive. Now, according to the internet, which is mostly always correct, armored steam locomotives became uh, prevalent in the American Civil War, the Mexican Revolution, the uh, Spanish Revolution, World War I, and really ramped up in World War II. As you can see, these are massive, massive locomotives covered in armor plating to cover supplies, they carried uh, troops, and they just went to battle. Now, Hitler created one called the Führer Zonderzug, which uh, actually there's a documentary on Netflix uh, you'll want to go watch. I've watched a bit of it and I'm going to finish it on an armored train that carried him all across Europe. And in 1964, a movie called The Train, starring Burt Lancaster, uh, starred a steam locomotive that was uh, the French resistance was trying to get back some art that was stolen by the Germans, and they were going to take it. And it's all about the train and delaying the train, and I won't tell you any more about it. So you can go Google armored steam trains, or you can just Google us, because we've already done the work for you, and we do it every week. we got content. We also have boiling points. You should check those out. In the meantime, I will be expecting you back here next Friday for a new episode. Thanks for joining me. See you then.